Guess who woke up at 6.30 this morning? Me. I guess you could say that I totally have my whole life together. Okay, um, welcome back to the vlog. Like, defeated, like, it, it's definitely hard. It's been so good. <laughs> oh, that feels so nice. Well, charms case, the timing is always right. You in the it's kind of good right now. It is a Monday right now. I decided that I need to post more on TikTok. So I was like, I'll do a little get ready with me. So I'm gonna do my hair now and then I will film that little TikTok in a second. Since I'm gonna sit over here, I might as well just do my hair over here because I just like looking out the window, you know? And then I was like, oh, if I'm gonna get ready today, I might as well take a new LinkedIn picture. I'm just gonna do my hair. We got the straightener. This Chi Lava one, they sent me this and genuinely it's so good. You guys, okay, I just filmed a TikTok. Honestly, I have been drinking caffeine all morning because I got up so early today and it's succeeding in making me jittery, but also I am still tired. So that's kind of a fail. Anyway, I did my makeup. I filmed that little TikTok. I have to edit it, um, but my hair looks kind of good right now. It's literally going to look completely straight in like two seconds so i think i need to take advantage of this and take a new linkedin profile picture i'm just gonna take that really quick and then my dad and i need to go grocery shopping and i think we're gonna take the dog and like go to the dog park <laughs> this is my old camera right now i haven't filmed on this camera in like three years and the reason that i'm using it right now is because i put my camera like right here on the tripod and it like wasn't stable enough and it tipped over and it fell like just down to the soft cushiony ground like this high like not very far not on a hard surface like with the carpet and it literally fell and my camera like won't turn on anymore i've dropped it before and the screen got messed up like this so that's happened before but you can see like the lens is extended it like will turn on and off so like the lens will work but then there's nothing on the screen so that's not good i'll try to fix it when i come back i really don't like the quality of this oh no okay anyway i'm gonna try and figure it out when i come back we're gonna go grocery shopping also i realized i just like cut my hair at the end of the last video and didn't show you anything but it just looks like this anyway pray for my camera i hope she's okay <laughs> You guys, all of my technology wants to leave this earth, let's say. My camera is still, it just does not function. It won't even turn on. I need to like send it back to the manufacturer to get it repaired or go to a camera repair shop, something. I tried to figure it out today, but honestly, I gave up because it, I just could not figure it out and I was trying to do something else too. So um, I'm filming on my old camera, like I said before. I hope it's not too bad. Honestly, I haven't used it to film video in years, so. <laughs> but I'm getting ready to record a podcast right now. It is 5.43, and we're gonna record at 6 p.m. So I just got myself a little drink. I'm making a little TikTok vlog of this right now. Another technology thing that happened today was last night I had a breakdown because which just sounds so stupid. And I realized that it's not a big deal, but it, I just, I got overwhelmed. My phone was completely full, like the storage. I could not even open an email, like that's how bad it was. And I did that to myself because obviously for content creation and this kind of stuff, like work, brand contracts and stuff, I take so much content, like my phone. I take so many videos, thousands of pictures, everything so last night i couldn't do anything on my phone and i had to film a brand deal today my dad and i drove to best buy last night at like 6 p.m which is the best and we went and got a two terabyte hard drive and i've been loading all my photos from my phone onto the laptop today so that's literally taking up the entire day because <laughs> deleting them making sure they're all there putting them on the hard drive organizing them but i think fingers crossed i finally figured it out i also put on <laughs> One of my case to buy cases that I had in my drawer. This one is so freaking cute. They sent this to me a while ago, but it's like their little charms case and you can take out the charms and move them around. I literally just impulsively put this on last night because I was sad. 
and how can you be sad about a phone when it looks like this i'm recording a podcast with Rennell and Beth today I'm being a guest which I love so much and I've never been on a podcast where there's another guest so that's super fun but I just poured myself a little Bev this is the kombucha that I've been drinking I literally bought a case of this from Amazon which I never do I never buy bulk of anything any food because like spending that much money at once freaks me out but I know I'm going to drink them and I can't find them in any location ever <laughs> so I just bit the bullet and bought them. If you love kombucha, you need to try these. These are no sugar, which is like so hard to find in kombucha. And I think they're really good. They're kind of lighter in flavor, but if you like kombucha, I think you'll like these. I set up my laptop. I think I'm gonna wear my headphones because my parents are watching TV in the living room and I'll try to get some little BTS clips for you. No, I agree. I feel like also with YouTube and the whole editing aspect, you get two chances to create the content the way you want it. Like people are doing and really making it your own in a way that isn't really so easy to do on other platforms. guys in my workout took Benny for a walk I took a shower washed my hair dried my hair all of those things I posted a TikTok edited a TikTok and then posted the TikTok that I was filming yesterday when we were making the podcast and that was so so fun I got these eye patches from Amazon just because I wanted something like fun to have and like make myself feel like I'm doing a little extra special something for myself I think these are like the popular ones like they had pretty good reviews on Amazon but I will link them down below if you guys want to get them. <laughs> These feel so fun. Oh, that feels so nice. Like, honestly, even if these don't do anything for my eyes, like, just the coolness on my face feels so refreshing. Oh my gosh. Looking cute. I also made myself a little bowl of strawberries. I'm literally just zoning out eating strawberries right now. Wait, let me also show you the little drink I made myself. It tastes bad, but that is my own fault because I use the coffee grounds that I had from this morning. Usually when I make iced coffee, I run the grounds through twice because it's going to get watered down anyway. I should not have done that this time because it tastes so bad, but I'm still going to drink as much of it as I can because the other components of it do taste good. I did one, oh no, that's actually two espresso shots. The marshmallow creamer from Nut Pods. And then I, you can't see it now because it's kind of like melted all in here. But I got this cold foam from Aldi and it's like a chocolate cold foam. It's so good. It's basically like in a whipped cream can. And I didn't think it would taste like anything, but it's so sweet and so yummy. Honestly, when it's stirred together, it's kind of good. Hi. <laughs> you really. Hi. Hey, down. Sir. I feel like I have had several days where I've just felt so like defeated like it's definitely hard a lot of the times and if you've had like similar experiences to this you know what I'm talking about like it's been like eight months of job searching and I still don't have a job besides you know like my freelance like social media work which is technically self-employment but it's been eight months and that is a long time to deal with rejections and like feelings of failure which i know it doesn't mean that i'm not smart whatever like and i get in my head about that sometimes too where i do bully myself and i do like say those things about myself in my head i'm getting better at like catching myself and telling myself not to do that it's definitely really hard sometimes and i've had crying sobbing down sobbing down sobbing <laughs> breakdowns but i don't really Put that stuff in the vlogs because i just that's not what i like to share and maybe that'll change one day because i don't 
want to make stuff that feels like everything is perfect all the time but that's like a balance that I'm figuring out as I go maybe one day I'll make a video where it's like that in the beginning and then I'm like but now my life is amazing so like don't give up sometimes I feel like that genuinely and it is kind of rough but I've also been working on finding new ways to kind of reframe my mindset because you know I say this a lot but I'm just really really lucky to have the things that I have in my life literally I have everything that I could possibly ever need some people don't have that so I know that I'm so fortunate I think I've been kind of trying to reframe things and I love seeing other creators talk about their experience of like living at home in their 20s or job searching or having a work from home job and like living with their parents like everyone is doing something different and people who actually talk about that stuff make me feel so seen and so happy so if you do that thank you so much and i hope that i can do that for you guys i've been thinking a lot about the trend if you've seen that go around where it's like you should think of your 20s as if you're 21 you're a one-year-old adult if you're 22 you're a two-year-old adult i'm 22 so i would be like a two-year-old adult and i know that sounds really silly but i like that concept and it helps me because it takes the pressure off of having to know everything like it's literally like you're stepping into a brand new world kind of having to learn a lot of things from scratch because i don't have school anymore and for some people that might be not a huge deal but for me i definitely depend so much on school for socializing for feeling validated and worthy and feeling smart like i definitely depended on school for like academic validation which i know is not healthy like i shouldn't rely on that but you do notice it when it's not there anymore we're trying to just have grace with ourselves and know that everything is going to work out and i am also a big believer in everything works out everything happens for a reason like the timing is always right i personally like like to think that way because it helps me and makes me happy it makes me it makes it easier for me to deal with each day and i'm not saying that that's the right way or that you should also think that way and i don't think it applies to every situation like absolutely not but for me it's just comforting and it's something i like so i've definitely been doing that too and then i've also been thinking a lot about the timing of things recently that's obviously the thing that's been getting me the most is like it's been eight months like <laughs> feels so long to me i'm like why isn't it my time yet like why isn't this working out for me when i want it to this is just like again my like pinteresty quote brain like take it or leave it if it's not for you that's totally fine but i was thinking this morning this was like my shower thoughts we're like getting deep right now but i was like i feel like i've experienced where i personally am ready for something but that thing isn't ready for me yet i feel like that's kind of where i am right now in this like flux this in-between state <sighs> I was thinking the other day about how when I was applying to schools out of high school, I didn't even know that UNC, which that's where I ended up going, where I was super happy, I didn't even know it existed. So I would never have applied there and been like there from freshman year. Like there's no situation that would have led to that happening, if that makes sense. I couldn't have started there because I didn't even know about it. I feel like it's kind of a similar thing that I'm thinking about now. I've had so many instances where I've been this close to getting a job. I actually turned down an offer. I don't think I ever told you guys that. Once I am kind of moving along in this journey and like probably have something stable eventually, I will tell you guys all about that. I feel like right now it's like a similar situation. Like I might not even know about the company that I'm going to work at and how amazing it is and how much I love it. Maybe it's a company that doesn't even have the position that I'm going to love and start in until like two months from now. Like it just doesn't exist. I don't know. I've been thinking about that a lot and that like might not make sense and it might not ring true for you, which is totally okay. But these are like my little ramblings and things I think about to help me <laughs> when I'm like in a weird in-between state and i don't know what's going on with my life so anyway there's that and in terms of like actual update things i just i have like several things in the works but that is always what it is and then often either after an interview i get ghosted or they go with someone else or like 
whenever something happens so i don't know what's going on with those places i think there's like three solid options right now that maybe something will happen i don't know i would love it to i've had some positive indication but i really don't know and it's gonna be one of those things where maybe none of these will work out obviously we'll see but i know that when something does kind of click and fall into place it's gonna be like so fast just kind of how it is especially with like marketing and pr jobs and stuff so yeah <laughs> we shall see thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> i'm gonna take these off i'm gonna see what else we need to do today i need to film another brand collaboration for tiktok today so i'm going to do my makeup and stuff so i can film that i'm also gonna film a get ready with me tiktok my posting schedule is like out the window but it is what it is <laughs> Good morning guys. I just got ready. I did my normal morning routine, workout, walk the dog, all that good stuff. Took a shower and I just did my makeup. I didn't put on any foundation today and I kind of like it. I feel like it's fun every once in a while but I just filmed some TikToks and stuff. I need to edit a, another TikTok for a brand. I finally got the Canon website to work and I just put in all my information about my camera to see how much the estimate would be to fix it and it literally says 556 dollars and 21 cents i'm not going to submit the service thing yet because i want to think about it and also like obviously i could just bite the bullet and pay that and maybe i will i'm not sure but that is just so much money and i'm trying to save for all my stuff being a bridesmaid for hallie's wedding like i have to travel costs like i'm the only one out of state so i have to get all my flights and like i would want to use the 500 dollars for that <laughs> not like this but you know sometimes these things can't be avoided so just let me know what you think i have several things i could do today but nothing too pressing except honestly editing this vlog there's some more job applications i really don't want to i've had some progress with one nothing definite though and i'm not gonna jinx it by talking about it so i'm like just not in the mood to apply to more things honestly so anyway let's start editing this vlog i just edited basically all of the footage up until this point i didn't do like a little intro bit but i feel pretty good about that I it, was, it only took me like an hour and a half so it's really not that bad but it's so blown out you guys this is why I don't like this camera as much as the other one because look at my face right now the automatic settings are just not that good anyway <laughs> I was gonna call Hallie but I think she's busy right now so I will probably just call her later but we like to call each other and have a little FaceTime date <laughs> because we just live so far away from each other like all of my friends are long distance so that's another big part of postgrad has been facetiming my friends which you know i will take it it's a lot better than not being able to shock them so i'll probably call her later but what do you think oh you're stretching you're stretching i think i might make myself a snack honestly because i'm kind of hungry and just kind of clean up I should really clean the kitchen because I'm literally here all day while my parents are at work and I there is no reason for me not to clean it so I should do it I'm just lazy and at least I made my bed this morning so that's a win morning guys my hair looks absolutely insane but it's the weekend now and i'm so excited because my best friend from high school sally is coming to visit us for the weekend and i i can't wait she's gonna be here in like an hour and i'm just genuinely so excited she lives in boston now so she's not like super far away but just enough that she can like come back for the weekend i can go to her for the weekend it's so fun unfortunately it's literally raining like there is a rainstorm happening where we live so that's not great but we're just gonna make the most of it and kind of bop around so i will maybe get some little clips i think we'll probably just go out to eat and kind of walk around even though it is pouring outside <laughs>